fascinating holiday trading december 12th is here oil trade it ranged reach the reversal zone what does the reversal zone means on range chart means trade exhaustion level so what does this trade needs to do it needs to break through this level in order for my trade to go into a larger time frame I respect the fact that reversal zone which is my trade exhaustion level had been reached I trail incredibly carefully and monitoring what price will do at this level as it is highly unlikely oil will have enough power to break through this level I expect very powerful push to the downside trailing very very carefully my trail 97.75 two targets are in so here's our monthly trade on oil take an exact same powerful pose at reversal zone reminding you the importance of decision point one which is exactly where most of the trades on S&P had been ending up the last few days the end of the correction respect what market is telling you and this is exactly what been sparking this rally on oil because monthly chart reached reversal zone just like range chart reached reversal zone what did we discuss based on alpha wave trader rules highly unlikely this price will go anywhere but oil is full of surprises because it's poor liquidity instrument and what is S&P doing? S&P is doing massive fluff because S&P has massive correlation, endless corrections, reminding you the importance of decision point one and reversal area. They correlate here. When market gives you flappuccino, you go get cappuccino. Nothing good is happening on S&P. Buyers exhausted, buyers not stepping in, sellers are exhausted. The fluff is in. Acquiring short position into a brick wall? Silly thing to do. This is what happens. Price collapses as expected on range chart. Just like price reversed on monthly chart. Makes sense? That's why S&P is doing nada. Zero. Zelch. As I spelled out, the only good thing will happen on S&P. Powerful buying pressure. And here's oil. As expected. Reversing taking a pause so if you know where reversal zone is you know where to take absolute profits of the table especially when it is highly unlikely that price will find enough juice to blast through precision and simplicity is the key So this is how predictable price is. It keeps dancing in these patterns back and forth, back and forth. And here is oil. This adorable cutie fruity long had reached reversal zone and ain't going anywhere. Tabarabaru. That's what you learn in the course where to completely expect ultimate reversal as we discussed with Alphys could not be more evident chances of price breaking through is are incredibly unlikely and here is a dance and here is a reversal because reversal zone had been reached simple and clear doesn't matter if you trade range chart doesn't matter if you trade monthly doesn't matter if you trade hourly formula remains the same know where reversal area is know what not to enter into that's exactly the reason why i'm not touching short on s p that's exactly why it remains the key to play by the rules that's all there is
oil is completely stuck, struggling immensely. So how predictable can it be? What do we say? Before we even shook the straight, we knew it will end here. We are out because the reversal zone had been reached. That simple, that pure. And that's exactly what S&P is doing, giving us not that zero zelch because the reversal zone had been reached. That's why I'm not touching short positions here. Nothing good is happening, but S&P is not finding enough buyers. So that's all there is. Thank God for oil. All right, so it is 12 ESC, incredibly slow and very fascinating day on S&P continues. For all the reasons reminding you how critical it is to know when price reaches reversal zone area. This is what we call in the course danger zone dense, price stuck in the corrective fluff. Nothing good happens here. Sellers are exhausted. Buyers are not stepping in with power. On daily chart, this is the most powerful bearish structure we had seen since October 2012. I expect a temporary pullback at any moment, highly possible. If it's not going to happen by later today, it will happen tomorrow. But it's only temporary pullback as I expect price to collapse much further down. The response at 1755 will determine the power of this collapse, which could be quite significant, continue on all the way to 1700 and 1600 area. Again, this is not to be ignored. This is we'll review tomorrow in the wave class. This is a reminder how critical the reversal zone levels are. So clearly position traders remaining bullish here is not a prudent thing to do. This is dreamlike bearish formation that only starting on daily chart. So there we go. That is a recap. This is what we had done so far this month. Oil had still remained magic, not responding to holidays as much. 14 trades, 12 first target, only two negatives so far this month as of December 12. 12 trades made to target two, eight trades made to target three or more. Again, based on ratios and volatility, it does not necessarily mean its decision point one level is a first target. Multiple occasions we take decision point two and danger zone level as the first target. S&P, when we come to the markets and S&P stuck in corrections, it's very, very challenging to babysit and less fluff. S&P had been a bit of a challenge to trade this month as expected. Out of 12 trades, 8 trades reached to the first target. Again, 8 trades reached the first target. This is a typo, it's 8. There we go, 8 trades reached to the first target on S&P. So have a fantastic afternoon everybody. Reminder, Friday will be even more fascinating than today. And I look forward to seeing you in a wave class. So I hope you're planning incredibly long and beautiful vacations and time with your loved ones. And I hope you respect that markets will get only more choppy, more corrective, remains the best time to trade and the best time to learn and the most challenging time to trade. So have a beautiful afternoon, beautiful weekend. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow in the wave class in the trading room on Monday.